Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I know it's a little different to see me on a Wednesday, but I figured I'd throw two videos at you this week instead of just one to make up for my absence last Friday. As you can see, our beautifully remodeled hummingbird yoga space behind me. Very happy with the results. Thank you, Angela, and thank you, Jacob. And uh, today we're going to go do some core stuff. So I have yum hummingbird core yoga number two. Um, we're going to start in our inclined oblique plank. This is definitely a tough one. I suggest 25. We'll see if I can get to 25 on the video. Uh, it's one of the more challenging core moves I do personally. The next thing we're going to move to is our C plank. The last thing is our star crunch, kind of our cool down crunch. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to do, I have my ottoman here. If you have a stability ball, that would work too. We're going to set up like we would an inclined push-up. So we're going to rest the top of our feet on our ottoman, and we're going to come down to our obliques. So we're going to get comfy here, and then when we're ready, we're going to come over here, bringing our knee to our tricep, that's what that is, and then we're going to bring it up and under. I'm going to go top of my foot here, like toes pointed, and then under, side, under, side, under, breathing, keeping our form, trying to go slow. Trying not to hunch our shoulders here. Trying not to let our back dip. Whew. Those are a definite heat builder. It's kind of tough to talk while you're doing those because I think I would be so out of breath by the end. <sighs> so like I said, total heat builder. Definitely get your heart rate up with those. We're going to move right along into our plank crunches here. Now these are oblique crunches as well. They're called C crunches. So we're going to send that right leg out long, then bring it up, knee to elbow, and make a C pretty much. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. We want to keep our plank form, so if you need to take a break in down dog, by all means, we do want to say nice and straight. Using those core muscles to keep us in line. I'm going to come back and rest in child's pose before I go into my star crunch. I would invite you guys to do the same. Give your shoulders a break from planks. Oh, that's child's pose. Felt awesome. So now for our star crunch, we're going to come all the way down onto our back. We're going to send our legs out long, pointing the toes to keep our legs active. And we're just going to start crunching. We want to make sure we're leaving space between our chin and our chest. And we want to make sure we're getting those shoulder blades up and off the mat when we're crunching. Nice deep breaths in, guys. You gotta be tired by now. I know I am. Oh. All right. So I know I didn't do the rep count that I'm going to suggest. Um, I'm going to say reps, you should do 25 of each. The obliques, if you can get to 25, that's fabulous. If you can't, keep trying. That's a goal. Um, as far as sets, if you're doing it as a standalone workout, 
you should do at least three sets of the 25 reps of each. If you're throwing it on top of another yoga workout or maybe you're doing it, you know, hummingbird yoga core one and core two, you could do two sets with the 25 reps of each. Uh, as far as the obliques, if you're doing it within another set of core, the inclined obliques, I would reduce the reps to 10 unless you're super comfortable at 25 because you know, might be really uncomfortable. <laughs> I know the first time that I did those, I was very sore, but I was also very happy with the results. So I hope you guys give them a try. I also hope you enjoy your week. Thank you so much for stopping and watching Hummingbird Core Series number two. Have a great week, guys. Bye.